Supporters say it'll boost the economy and create lots of jobs for mid-Michigan. But tonight, an environmental group wants to stop that new coal plant in Bay County, and they're taking their battle to court. Still, as WNEM-TV5's Liz Gillardi reports, the fight is just beginning. A new coal plant in Bay County is supposed to power thousands of homes in mid-Michigan. But right now, the only energy being created is opposition. I am certainly not supportive of that plant. Environmental groups filed a lawsuit against the Michigan Department of Natural Resources and Energy. The group claims state-issued permits restricting emissions aren't strict enough. This is a time when, when the facts, the science, the support, and the statistics are simply on our side. The power that flows through the substation can be generated by wind, solar, or coal, but it's coal and the new coal plant that's generating resistance among environmental groups. Coal is, despite the campaign of consumers' energy, is dirty. It's uh, horse and buggy technology. We're moving into the green age, and there's no place for coal. And it's up to the court to decide if this new coal plant has a home in Bay County. There's an awful lot of people behind the need for this plant, and I think what the public needs to understand is that if a new power plant is built in Bay City, it will be state-of-the-art. It will reduce emissions 90 percent, more than what we have today, because we will be retiring older, less efficient units. It's to the public's advantage and the public good to stop this coal plant. A battle that's just getting started over energy, how to create it and where to make it. Liz Gillardi, WNEM, TV5. Consumers Energy spokespeople say that they did expect this lawsuit. Despite the legal action, plans for the plant continue. Construction set to begin next summer.